Hello everyone, my name is Katarina Gisanta. You can call me Catherine and I'm here. I am as the presenters. And today, right now, I will present you about my paper that titled The Consumer Attitude Towards the Social Media in Fast Fashion Brand. And in here, my paper is casing, case, the case is in, in Indonesia and using H&M as the brand of the fast fashion itself. And I am from Satya Wacana Christian a university and it's located in Indonesia. So uh, I will start it for the introduction itself. For the first point is the internet is the platforms that really, really known and it's known from 1990s. And it served as a platform for communicate for information exchange and also for the entertainment. And with the internet, all of the users now can produce, publish, and also uh, exchange material and data and many more. And as the result by the development of the internet itself, it can enable users, it can make all the users to create groups and communities. They can find people, they can find the same of them uh, around the world and globally. And from there, they can uh, change uh, expression and also suggestion then, and they also can exchange thoughts also. And since social media, since internet uh, I are widely used, uh, the development of internet is itself, it became uh, uh, known as social media. And social media is a platform that, that uh, make, that creates a group and communities became one and uh, because the development of social media itself also increased widely um, social media itself considered as an effective platform for the companies to connect with their uh, consumers with their market so basically uh, the social media itself have developed to being the, the to market their to market the company's product because, because it will be more efficient for them to connect with the customers. They can promote a promotion. They can expand the market segment. And also they can implement marketing, uh, the several marketing strategies from there. Because as we can see right now, like uh, there are study from uh, Yilmaz and Enginkaya 2015. They say that 50% of social media users, they actively write comments. 29% user uh, used to review products and 50% actively used to follow brands uh, on social media. So in here, uh, social media is a source of a crucial information and business will, it can gain a profit from there. And uh, because the, the uh, development of social media, social media become the marketing platforms. So, um, the the right now Instagram be became the highlight of the social media itself. Why? Because Instagram itself they provide photo, video, and also live, uh, live video. So so probably more more customers can see all the products there. So it will be more uh, considered more efficient for them, and and after that they can also interact online and can represent their personal styles. But however, the usage of the Instagram as a social ma marketing needs in depth uh, in depth understanding because the the growth of the Instagram itself uh, has been surpassed one billion and still growing, and also. Um, the study from Meta 2000, they discovered that consumer att attitudes were different, were significant towards the effectiveness of online marketing. Uh, therefore, if the consumer has a good attitude toward the social media marketing, it will increase the, in the effectiveness of marketing itself. So the implicitly, if the customer have a higher attitude, it will be linked to the effectiveness of social media marketing itself. And in here, my uh, paper will discuss about it and based on the five constructs of social media marketing, which is entertainment, interaction, customization, trendiness, word of mouth, 
and, and also word of mouth. Uh, and then the second for the chapter two, it will be at the literature review. Uh, I will be, I in here I have two segments. There are social media marketing and attitudes towards the social media marketing itself. So social media marketing, social media marketing itself become the most common tools to range more people. And it consider, uh, because it's considered with social media, we can range people globally. And to identify and maximize social media construction, there are five components that I already mentioned before. There are entertainment, trendiness, interaction, personalization, and word of mouth. The entertainment itself refers how social media can entertain users in certain way, even if it's photo or video. Trendiness, which means social media as the fast paced world and perfectly fits to find new trends. And, and then also interaction refers on how social media can connect people. And then personalization means social media as a marketing tools have a specific niche targets that are found. And the last is word of mouth, which is includes user freedom to share the information. And then the second is, is the attitude towards social media marketing. So the attitude itself um, making that means that it is crucial to now to understand consumer attitudes towards social media marketing because it will influence many other aspects in the future such as brand attitudes brand equity intention to buy and also decision making until loyalty and then in here my paper the methodology itself we are i have the population is indonesian and then sample i have in here will be a 112 people 87 valid and 25 invalid. The valid and invalid itself are using the Google Google form itself because they're requ it is required first male and female, second age between 22 until 40, 42, and the third is men and women who have an interest in fashion, consume fast fashion brands, and also follow H&M Instagram. And in here, the 25 person that invalid it is because they are when uh, when fulfilled the Google form itself, they don't uh, follow the H and M Instagram itself. And in here, I use the descriptive quantitative method and collecting the data using Google form as the primary primary data. And for the fourth uh, chapter will be the result and discussion. So in this paper itself, I use the pretest itself to test the validity and the reliability. And in the paper and in the test itself, um, my P, my test is a uh, pass for the validity and the real liability itself. The using the thirty data samples, and the measurement itself is zero point more than zero point seven zero three, and it uh, and the results show that collected data was reliable since Crunchbase Alpha also. 0 0.703 and then from the gender itself uh, from the uh, from these two table the majority respondents were females followed by men and the and the uh, respondents are people 22 until 26 years old and they are the data analysis itself we can see here uh, according here, the female shows the difference from male. Females have more tendency of a higher attitude toward social media, media marketing on H&M fast fashion Instagram itself. And they have the dominance in trendiness itself. Trendiness construct, which means females have more tendency to feel up to date while using fast fashion Instagram. On, on the other side, males are shown to have a lower attitude toward the fast fashion Instagram. And then from the gender itself, I mean from the age, according to the second data result, uh, Indonesian consumers between 37 until 42 years old have the highest attitude towards fast fashion Instagram with trendiness construct also as the dominant. So it is um, it is uh, different with the before with before with, with the previous study, which mean that. They use uh, the oldest group age. It is same with the previous study. They state that from Brinda and Raja Krishnan, they state that the oldest age group between 36 until 50 have the effective attitudes and beliefs. And 
uh, we moved to the last chapter. It will be conclusion and discussion. Uh, the conclusion itself, we already have the analyze and attitude of consumers toward the fast fashion Instagram. And the final research show the different result based on the different background because the differences in the background could possibly affect the different result. And based on the data results, maybe um, for the next for the next uh, researcher, they can have the attention which aspect of the company has effect on the attitude on consumers or the marketing parts, maybe on the economic or decision to purchase, loyalty or et cetera, et cetera. And in here, maybe they can get the deeper understanding and maybe they can use the other aspect, not only for fast fashion brand, maybe they can move into the um, F&B uh, companies also. And that's all from me. Uh, thank you.